Alola friends, Dapper Drabby here. Welcome to another PTCGO video. Um, we're gonna go over one of my other favorite uh, Pokemon cards, which is Xerneas Break. Livestream this attack does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to all of your Pokemon. Now, uh, this is not primarily a Xerneas Break deck, it's kind of more of a Xerneas, it's kind of combining that with. Xerneas Rainbow Force. So what we're calling this is Xerneas and the Ultra Beast. So it's kind of a little bit different take on it. You won't be seeing these those uh, double typings on here. But we have uh, four Xerneas. We have three of the Rainbow Force Xerneas that does 30 more damage for each different type of Pokemon on your bench. So if you have a single typing, 30 times 30 damage times five is 160 damage because it gets 10 plus the 30 damage so it's 160 damage and then you have a full bench of five when you start doing double types or in expanded if you have sky field you can start hitting you know that those big numbers that are those big gx's which is why xerneas is still such a strong attacker for a fairy energy and a double colorless energy can hit for huge numbers and then we're also playing one of the new Xerneas's from Shining Legends. Figured I'd bring it in because it is a Shining Legends card. And Bright Horns is a pretty good attack if you can get it off. And then Lead is good if you're kind of stuck. You can throw this Xerneas up there. Lead, search your deck for a support, reveal it, and then put it into your hand. It's like a, uh, especially with this one, the bench space is super tight. So if you have one of these on there. You're not going to be able to play down a Lele just randomly, so you can lead to get your supporter for the next turn. So worst case scenario, you get a supporter that you draw. Oh no, best case scenario, you get the supporter you want for next turn. Worst case scenario, you get end. You get you, your your cards get thrown back in your deck. You get a shuffle. So that's a pretty good card there. We have the new Zorark GX for draw support. I'm getting two of the boxes. We haven't pulled any in our Shining Legends packs. So we got two boxes so we could get at least a playset of Zorark GX. And we're going to test it out in this new Xerneas build. Um, for Ultra Beast, we are going to start things off with the Buzzwool uh, GX here from the uh, Ultra Beast collection box. And his partner, oh, the, actually the opposite partner is Faramosa GX. With Fast Raid, Curl Spike, it only has two attack, two energy attacks, so I believe we'll be able to get this uh, powered up to be able to uh, utilize uh, with those rainbow energies we play. Same with him. Knuckle Impact might not be used, but Jet Punch is really what we have him in here for, so he can spread some damage while Xerneas comes and cleans up. And we have two clean uppers. We have, uh, we have Xerneas, Xerneas Break, and uh, Drampa, actually, which I'll go over Drampa in a moment. And then uh, we have Zerka Tree as well for that flashing head ability prevent. Any Pokemon has special energy from attacking him, which this can come in clutch. And then Lightning GX, if we can get it off, is kind of cool. We can look at their hand, pull exactly the card they need right now, and put it into their prize card where they cannot get to it. So that's the good use of Zerka Tree. And then I have Celesteela here for the metal typing. Uh, which I'm not sure is the best of ideas. Uh, Celesteela is really just a bench type, which is kind of a really bad thing in this deck. But I have another one that's just a bench sitter, and that is um, Volcanion EX. Oops. Yeah, we have Volcanion EX as a bench sitter too because of the dual typing. But I'm guessing I should actually remove uh, Celesteela. And then also we have Nihilego. Uh, the empty light ability can poison, confuse our opponent and ourselves, and then we can switch into a, another Xerneas and start hitting numbers. And empty light should be able to take the knockout for us. So, those are the cool things. Celesteela really has me worried. Uh, last Pokemon we have in here is Sadrampa. Well, actually, we still have three more Pokemon, actually. We have we have an even split of 20 Pokemon, 30 Trainers, and 10 Energies in this deck. And I will, of course, copy the uh, deck list down in the description so you guys can copy-paste this and edit it to your liking. Um, I think I was trying out a Xerneas Zoroark Lycanroc deck, 
But then I was like, why don't I just play the Ultra Beast? I, I, those are all the typings I need anyways. Why don't I just play those? So I'm considering Grandpa here a, uh, a an Ultra Beast for the time being. But Berserk is really a good secondary attacker. Um, be able to hit numbers. As long as you're not facing Buzzle, you should be fine. And then we have a couple Zoras and a couple Leles, I believe. Wherever Lele is. We have two Leles. And that is the monsters of the deck, as you guys can see. I will go ahead and copy this to the clipboard. And then we have uh, item cards. We have two field blowers, two stretchers, two charges, four ultra ball. And those are pretty standard in most decks. Field blowers, stretchers, uh, charges, and ultra balls. We have two devour fields to boost that damage for Zoroark. We don't play any dragon types, although, you know, an alone executor in this list would be kind of funny. And kind of worth it. But we don't play him. Uh, Devoured Field does that ten, extra 10 damage for Zorwark, and it's a newer stadium, so I thought I'd play this over... I think it's Reverse Valley or something. I don't know. Something. It's something, that's for sure. Um, you could also opt for the one that prevents poison and confusion on your side uh, to help with uh, you play more Nihil Legos. Um, let's see, for supporters, we're playing one Bridget, two Guzmas, one Luzamine, four N, I believe. Nope, it's one Guzma. Four N, four Sycamore, <coughs> which as many draw supporters as you can because we don't have as many deck thinners in this uh, format right now. I mean, I could still use Nest Ball and stuff, but I have Lele for Bridget, so it's not as necessary. And we're finishing it off with four Choice Band, four Float Stones, four our tool cards of choice. Um, we can really get stuff stuck in the active here, so as many Float Stones as possible is good. Uh, not everything can attack with just a uh, random rainbow energy, so we got to be able to retreat those ones that can't. I thought about putting a stand in Zorg in here, but then I'd have to find a... I'd have to take out Celesteela and something else to be able to fit that in there. And it doesn't give us that extra typing. Um, and then four double colorless and two fairy energy to finish it off. Um, but I think I will actually remove Celesteela. There's just... There's better, better metal types than Celesteela that I could uh, fit in here. In fact, we'll just filter to look for some. We're looking for a metal basic type that attacks for one energy. Uh, I mean, we could uh, put in Registeel, but that's not going to help us too much. Turbo Arm does basic energies, not not uh, special energies. Uh, McGearn is a good option because we do play rainbow, so anything that has a rainbow on it will be able to be helped by Mystic Heart ability. Cobalion's pretty cool, uh, but we'd have to commit two rainbows to be able for him to one-hit uh, Gardevoirs at the end of uh, things. Magirna is actually kind of interesting. This one right here. Prismatic Wave does 20 damage for each different type on your opponent's. So this is really our, the anti Xerneas here. But it is a beautiful art. Um, and it could do some good numbers against at least Gardevoir. Otherwise, uh, Stardust Jirachi might be the best option. It does only have 60 HP. But if you can knock off a special energy, this thing is protected for a turn. And that might be a really good stall tactic with the uh, two energy costs that we have. So we'll go ahead and put Stardust Jirachi up here. Da, 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 da. And I think that's fine. Zergatry is questionable, and Nihilego is questionable as well. But I, I think we'll work with those two. So we'll go ahead and copy that deck list. It'll be down in the description. We're going to take this over to the Versus ladder. Are you sure you want to discard them? No, I really want to save them, actually. So... Uh, we'll, we'll enable this Rainbow Ultra Beast. We'll just keep that name on it right now. Uh, but considering we got a new addition, it's not all Ultra Beast. Um, I think we will change its, uh, 
cover. Oh, I thought I had a Jirachi cover, but I don't. So we will go with... You could put more Shadow in here too. That'd be kind of fun. More Shadow Rainbow Burst. It's about the same as having the same HP as Azernius, but it's a two prize attacker, which is kind of questionable. And yeah, those are fine. So let's go try the Rainbow Ultra Beast here on the Versus Ladder. If I come up with a better name, I'll f put that as the title, of course. Maybe it'll be... Oh, that's right, I was playing Legacy like crazy. Um, we want a Fairy deck. Counter Zerdius. Rainbows Ultra Beast. I might just label it. Ultra Beast Rainbows. Who oh, we're facing? We got a two winning streak against Parina. A water psychic deck. So it looks like it might be Greninja. Yeah, I'll go first. Greninja's been doing well, I believe. So it, it's it will show up from time to time. And we'll keep that Nihilego in our uh, hand for now. And it is a star you out front. This is where uh, Faramosa would be great. I wonder if we could find all that. Nah, let's see. Let's overextend and see if we can find what we want. We can overextend and see if we can donk this deck. Okay, we need a float stone and a rainbow energy. And we got the rainbow energy. We did not get the float stone. But we did get set up here, which is not bad. I could dig more, but we'd be stuck afterwards. So I'm going to finish there. Kind of like where we're at. Unfortunately, we could not get the donk. Which is why I felt like there was no point in putting the uh, rainbow energy on Buzzwall. They do get the Froakie down. And they're going to retreat the Staryu. Thank you, we could use that. to set us up look at all those mons Espeon hmm? well as long as they do not get a uh... okay we get another Xerneas it's a lot of Xerneas is really fast I think I want to save the last spot for a supporter For a draw supporter, I should say. Yeah, I already have a psychic type. So we're going to go ahead and sycamore this beautiful hand of uh, Pokemon up here. No, we don't want that. I don't know why I'm trying to do that. How many do we have in here? We have a DCE in there. Guess I'm going to go ahead and throw the choice band down. Retreat that buzz wall and then go ahead and attack with fast raid for 60 damage now we'll be able to go in with pheromosa this this uh this matchup <sighs> due to the fact that it is Greninja, um, if we can attack with Faramosa and get some stuff down, 
we'll be able to uh, really try to get ahead here. But here they are going to pull down their three frog deer, or as many as they have in their deck. What we were trying to prevent. But we can still slow them down by taking out anything that's on the board right now. And they Sycamore. An Ultra Ball for a... Has to be a Star here, right? A Froakie. That's just going to get in your way. But I think they were trying to get rid of the, uh, the water energies. Unless they know that they only have two duplicates in their deck. That might be the case. They might know that they only have two duplicates in their deck. Now, do we still only have one energy down here? We still only have one energy down there. We're going to go ahead and throw the choice band on... Actually, there's no reason to do that. But that's fine. They have four cards left. We have... Uh, we'll give them two cards. So we can see what else we can pull here. We'll throw another rainbow down here and throw Zorua down so that we can search for our uh, Zoroark next turn. If we want to rescue Stretcher, now's the time. Um, we could pull back a Zoroark. Uh, I'm thinking we can pull back Zoroark. Volcanion and Tapu Lele, I think. And we're gonna go ahead and fast right here. Beauty GX is for later in the game. But we'll take out that Frogadier and get up in the prize cards. Devour Field. They're gonna send out their Star You, probably evolve it into Star Me. Ah, uh, they had the other Frogadier. There's a Greninja. So we want to take these out before they get Splash Energy on them, because with Splash Energy, they come back rather quickly. But Greninja is doing well for itself right now. There's that Splash Energy. Uh, this is where a special would work, but we can also, we're going to confuse this uh, Greninja here. Um, we don't really need Devour Field. We have two Xerneas's down. I'll still throw away an N. Grab a Zorark. Go ahead and trade here. This is where I kind of wish I had a uh, special energy remover, but alas, I do not. Um, three cards. They have three cards. Um, we can take out this. No, we can't, can we? We cannot quite take out this Greninja. Which is kind of bad. Especially since we have no... We're going to go ahead and Cruel Spike. At least confuse them. So they have to retreat this turn. Or evolve. I wish there was a way to get rid of that special energy. I think they need to... No, they just need a giant water shuriken to take it out. But now they can shadow stitch and shut off abilities. I'm going to go ahead and put buzz hole up here. Um, I'm hoping I can get a rainbow energy. But we are down because we cannot find energies right now for some reason. And 
and we get a double colorless. Does this no good? But we can throw that onto Zoroark here and retreat. And at least take another prize. But we're still really far down. We need to take out that Espeon. As soon as possible. So we need the Guzma. That I think we only play one. Dang it! That's why I wanted Buzz. I wanted to pull a rainbow with Buzzwall so I could take out both and take two prizes. Because Star is a really good uh, thing to hit down when it's uh, it only had 30 HP left, which is where Buzzhole would have worked well, 30 to one of the bench. So we got to take out that Star U and that Espeon to slow down their combo here. Otherwise, they're just going to be able to water shuriken, water shuriken, 80 damage, which is 200 damage in total. Really? Oh, nice. I have to say well played, because they just took out Zerua by using the uh, Miraculous Shine ability. Uh, hopefully I can take that out next turn. I can't, though. their buzz roll up there. I keep drawing cards that are not very useful to me. They have no tools over there. Now I'm a little bit stuck. So I will most likely lose this, because Greninja is just too good sometimes. Um, I probably need that guy. But I won't grab him. I'll grab Brick instead. So he's going to retreat, Water Shuriken, and 80 damage. Uh, so it's 140. I think Buzzwall can survive that. Although he's still more able to attack than... Uh, I just have not been able to find energy. Which just kind of sucks here. I'm guessing I have a lot of energy prized. Because I have not been able to find any at all. But I always get wrecked by water, by a giant water shuriken, by Greninja. As expected. But can you hit 120? You already retreated this turn, so you can't retreat again. You can play down a water energy, but you have to probably return it. There's another Greninja break. Now we're going to be screwed. Because they can do 120. Weakness. That was just a bad play on my part. And I'm stuck too. My hand's completely stuck. We're going down straight to a Zorg and that's it. And Zorak does not have the power to take out Greninja. And I don't even have the tools I need.
Yeah, I must have. Yeah, I have no Guzma. It's in the prize cards. And I bet I have like three rainbow energies in the prize card as well. Needed the Guzma there to take out the Espeon. Now I can just retreat and Miraculous Shine for the game. Yep. So that's that. Uh, I'll give my. Why yeah, not? I was gonna give him a well played, good game, but the system wouldn't let me. So there's that. That's how Xerneas can get beat by Greninja quite handily, I might say. Um, my only bet was really to keep that Feromosa alive, but for some reason, I literally drew like three energies all game out of ten. Play 10 energy, and I drew like three. I didn't see any fairies. Mm, one of these maybe, and two of these. No, I, I think I saw four total. But four energies out of 10, and the whole deck, um, I only had like 15 cards left. So I kind of got screwed over there. But I mean, here's a decent Greninja list, guys. If you guys are interested in that. I think one did just get, get second at a uh, major tournament, so Greninja is coming up again as a strong deck. But thank you guys so much for coming out. Uh, this has been Dapper Drabby. I will bid you guys a Lola, and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye bye now.